Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing the 50 facts about me tag. Um, I think it's a tag or is it a challenge because it was a challenge coming up with 50 facts about myself. But I just wrote them all out on my phone so if I look down at my phone that is why. So let's just go ahead and get right into this because this could be a long video because 50 facts is a lot. So, the very, very first fact about me is that I have seen The Notebook, it is my favorite movie, probably over 50 times, and I cry my eyes out every single time I watch it. Every time. Every single time. Every time. The next thing is, um, I have an obsession with binge-watching TV shows on Netflix. Like, it's, it's a real problem. Like, seriously, I may need to get some help for it. It's a problem. I am 5'10". A lot of people don't think I'm that tall, but I am. I'm quite tall. When I really like a song, I will put it on repeat for days on end until I don't like the song anymore. Don't know why, but I always do Pizza that. is my all-time favorite food. I bruise extremely easy. Like, you could poke me and I would have a bruise the next day. I have never smoked in my life and I never will. I am literally always cold. Like every waking moment even in the summer i'm cold i literally have to carry around a jacket in my car so that anywhere i go i can go grab my jacket because i am literally always cold i used to be obsessed with the sims like literally it was i was obsessed i would wake up go play the sims and i would play it until i went to bed that night growing up i had scoliosis which is where like the curvature of your spine is not correct like I had like a curve in my spine um whenever it's like kind of like supposed to be like it's supposed to be like this like it's just a little bit curved and mine was like this like a lot more curved and I kind of like had like a little bit of a hunchback because I played the sims so much I would sit in the like the in the computer chair all day seven days a week and um I would like hunch over in the computer chair and because I was like young and I was growing and like my spine was growing and stuff, my spine grew in like a curved shape. So yeah, I had to go to the chiropractor five days a week for almost three years to get that fixed. I failed my driver's test the first time. <laughs> Not good. I have a mild fear of like the water, of like the ocean and like lakes and stuff. We have a lake that's just like a couple miles down like the road from where we live it's like a pretty big lake and you cannot see like the bot like you can't see the water at all the water is so dirty you can't see anything and it terrifies me like we used to go out on the boat all the time and would go like um tubing and stuff and it scared me so much because I could not see the water, like what was in the water because it was so dirty and so I do not like the water I do not like having my feet like floating around like they have to be like up in like a float because I just don't like it. I fear the water. I don't know why. It's so weird. I had to take almost two years off of college for medical reasons. My hair is naturally like a dark blonde, almost like a dirty blonde. I have a little brother and that is it in the sibling department. My parents have been married for 25 years and they are still going strong. I wish I had the courage to dye my hair pink. I've always wanted my hair pink, like, so badly. But, uh, I'm scared that it'll, like, seriously damage my hair. So, yeah. Probably not gonna happen, but... I almost did it this year. Almost. This close to it. But I talked myself out of it. I love to be tan, obviously. This is just tanning mousse because... I'll kind of do a backstory on this, I guess. Um... Whenever I was in high school and like junior high and stuff, I would tan every single year in the tanning bed. I would tan like in the fall time and then in the springtime. And then just recently, within the last two years, I have stopped and I have not tanned in the tanning bed for two years and I just use tanning mousse or I go outside sometimes. YouTube is a huge, huge stress reliever for me. I absolutely love rainy days and like thunderstorms if I don't have to go and do anything. So if I can just stay in the house all day, 
I love when it rains. I have one tattoo, but I plan on getting many, many more. I literally always have a bottle of water with me. Like anywhere I go, I have a bottle of water in my purse. I've lived in the country my whole entire life and I don't think I could ever live in town. My boyfriend lives in town right now and I hate it. I used to be obsessed with scrapbooking. I literally scrapbooked every single aspect of my life. And yeah, I said, for some reason I got out of it. I don't know why, but I used to be obsessed with scrapbook. I can literally not see anything without my contacts or glasses. I literally couldn't see like this in front of my face. It is all just way too blurry. And I hope to get LASIK eye surgery at some point in my life, but I'm pretty sure your eyes like can't change at all for like six years. And unfortunately my eyes change and get worse every single year. I absolutely love reading. I am the only granddaughter of five grandchildren and I am the second oldest. My family is extremely close. We actually all live like in a triangle. My aunt lives here, we live here, and then my grandma lives right next door to us. And then my other aunt, she wanted to like live in a different school district, so she lives down the road. I am extremely claustrophobic. I do not like tight spaces whatsoever. Elevators sometimes freak me out if they are just a little bit too small. Um, sometimes even cars, like being in the car kind of freaks me out. Growing up, I was pretty shy, actually like extremely so. Um, if like you were my close friend, then you know that I wasn't shy, but if I didn't know you, then I was extremely shy. When I was in kindergarten, I cut my bangs the day before school pictures and like the night before and my mom tried to fix them and were very, very crooked. <laughs> they look really bad. I take brushing my teeth extremely seriously. Like, I, I'm going to, like, seriously. I take it very, very seriously. I will brush my teeth as soon as I wake up in the morning and then as soon as I go to sleep, no matter what, no matter how tired I am, I will brush my teeth at least two times a day. I cannot go to sleep without taking off my makeup. I don't know what it is, but I just, I can't do it. I cannot sleep with my makeup on, which is actually pretty good. I am most definitely a night owl. I literally, it's very hard for me to go to sleep before three o'clock in the morning, which is really bad. I had braces for two years in junior high. I'm allergic to cats, which sucks because I love kittens. I suffer with anxiety and panic attacks. I'm usually always a little late to everything except for school. That's the one thing that I can actually be on time for. I suck at time management. I overanalyze literally everything. I am a Christian, but I do not go to church. I will usually read my Bible every single day, or at least I try to. Me and my mom will do kind of like a Bible study together. I had a benign tumor removed from my breast when I was 16. Growing up, I played basketball and softball. I am absolutely addicted to shopping. Like, if I feel sad, shopping. If I'm tired, shopping. If I am excited, shopping. Literally obsessed with shopping. But definitely when I'm sad, it always makes me feel better, which is not a good thing. If my nail polish chips, I automatically have to pick off the rest of it. I just, I can't deal with chip nail polish. I am very, very allergic to latex. If it touches my skin, it will leave a chemical burn. In high school, whenever we turned seniors, we would have like this voting thing for in the yearbook and where you like voted for like best dressed and like funniest and stuff like that. And I won best smile and best hair. And then I got it all chopped off immediately after I graduated. I am 21 and have never been to a club. Prison Break is my all time favorite TV series. And last but not least, whenever I was little, they had to literally hold me down in order to give me a shot. Like they had to strap me in to give me a shot because I would not take like I would not, uh-uh, wasn't gonna happen. They had to strap, strap, oh bleh. They had to strap me down because I hated shots so much. And now it is nothing. I literally give blood every chance I get, which is so weird because I hated them before, but now I'm fine with them. So that is all for this 50 facts about me. I just wanted you guys to get to know me just a little bit better and you know, know some random stuff about me. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video and if you would like to see more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye guys.